Hello sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope that this video finds you all doing amazing and I hope each and every one of you are doing very well. Today I am super excited because I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to do a mystery swap box challenge and that is where me and someone else just swap boxes of craft supplies and we have to craft with the supplies that we are sent. And so I am super excited to show you what I created for today. And the person that I am teaming up with today is Amber from DIY with Amber. And she is so sweet, you guys. And her channel is amazing. I absolutely love her work. Her work. She does farmhouse, high-end, thrift flips. She does room makeovers. She does it all. So please Go give her a look and go check her out on her channel. I'm going to have her link in my description box. And if you are coming over from Amber's channel, hi and welcome. Thanks for stopping by. I hope to see you in future videos. And so let's jump right into the video. And this is the box here. I opened it, but I haven't took a look in yet. We will do that together. And this is what it looks like from my view. And so... What we have here are some really nice little florals, these uh, cotton and pine cones. I really love these. These are super pretty. And so we have two of these. And these are really good. You know, you can absolutely add this to any DIY. Um, honestly, make a little vase or anything like that or put them on a sign. And so you could do so much with that. And next up, we have this metal truck sign. And I think this is super cute. I have seen this at Dollar Tree before. I just, ne I just never picked it up. I don't know why, but it is super cute. And you can do a lot of stuff with this. So I really love that. And honestly, it looks good as is already. And I just switched from voiceover just to the regular camera audio. So you guys can hear me as I unbox. And so... The next one is this berry pick. These are super pretty. They're in this orange and red color. Those are cute. And then we have this berry garland that is also in a orange and reddish berries. And these are super cute. Next up is some nautical rope. And we all can use a nautical rope. This can be used for a ton of things. And I do use this often. Then we have this cute pumpkin um, little sign. Here's what that looks like. And I think this is super cute with the little raffia bow on top. Then we have another one in this green color. This green color is actually really cute and I like the color. Then we have these two little wood crates. And last up, we have these uh, little dried florals or solar wood flowers, I'm not sure. But these are super pretty and they can be used for a ton of things and they are super cute. And then, happy crafting friend, excited to see what you create. And I am excited to show you guys what I have come up with, with the items that Amber had sent me. And so, let's get to crafting. Starting off, I'm going to use the metal truck sign. I'm just going to take off the little jute hanger. And then I also have these wood craft sticks here. And I am going to hot glue them down together using just jumbo popsicle sticks on the back and i am going to make them not even but so they they are different sizes and like um going up and down so it can look more like a rusted rustic wood plank 
And so after I get that nice and glued together and it is one piece, I'm going to give it a nice coat of this stainer and this gray color. And I absolutely love this color. I use this all the time and I just love the grayish tone in it. It's so pretty. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to wipe off the excess and let that dry really well before applying the metal sign. I'm going to go in with this red acrylic paint and I am just going to distress all around the edges of this truck just because I want to give it a bit of color and not to leave it blank so I am just going to distress it all around the edges until I like it visually and then I'm also going to distress it with some brown paint as well well it's actually wax but I don't have any brown regular paint so I just use that and I dab it on top of the red to make it look more rustic and more worn out and I'm just you know dabbing just as you see me do here all around until I like it and then I am going to hot glue that down onto the sign. Now friends what I want to do is take this paper that I got from Hobby Lobby and I just want to create a little border for the trunk of this truck. So I just want to place it on the little square where the back end of the truck is. And that is not only going to create a nicer look but it also make it look 3D-ish and I really love how it turns out. So all I do is just trace the size that I need and then I just cut it out and I place it on there with hot glue. I didn't want to put Mod Podge because I didn't want the, the sign to look any weird or anything when I placed Mod Podge on that part. So I just hot glued it down and it was perfectly fine and I really love that simple little touch. It makes it look so much better. So now I'm going to go in with those picks that Amber had sent me. And I am just going to pick them off one by one so that I can have more control over where I place them. And I'm going to place them on the back where the trunk is. And that way it looks like it's just overflowing with these beautiful picks. And I am just going to hot glue them down into place. And last up, I am going to take this bowl that I had made recently for a previous DIY and I never used it. So I'm just going to place it right in the front where the corals are and that will cover up all the stems and make it look nice and finished. And then I will also add on that jute hanger that came on the truck originally and use that to hang up this sign. And that is it for this DIY friends and I really love how this turned out. It is so cute and so beautiful and I love how everything just ties in together and the wood sign that I made with the wood uh, craft sticks, I think that just makes it pop out. Please let me know what you think of this DIY. Next up I'm going to use those two wood crates and what I'm going to do to start them off is I am going to glue them together to make one piece. I'm going to combine hot glue and E6000 just to make sure it's nice and strong. Once it is one piece I am going to go in with some black paint and I am going to paint the entire thing. I don't paint the inside because you're not really going to see the inside anyway. So I just paint around the entire outside in some black paint. I let that dry really well. 
and this DIY is going to be super simple and fast but it looks absolutely stunning and I love how it turned out guys and so once that is nicely painted and dried I am going to place in some floral foam and I am going to arrange some flowers in here that I already had and these are all uh, flowers from Dollar Tree and so I am going to just arrange them how I like and until you know I visually like it and placing them here and there you know just really like how I like it and I do place them one by one just once again so I can have more control over where it's being placed And you can see just how beautiful this is turning out you guys. I really love how this piece turned out. It is just super beautiful and I love that I picked black for the color because it just makes the florals just pop out really good and you are satisfied visually. So now I'm going to take this bead garland that Amber sent me and I'm going to make some tendrils and I'm just going to cut a little piece off, wrap it around my finger and then I am just going to stick it down in there, here and there just to make it look a little bit more prettier and I really love this little touch. And so I add those and that is it for this DIY. And all I do extra is I take some green moss that you can get at Dollar Tree and I stick some down in the bottom of the florals. That way you don't see the floral foam and it looks 10 times better. And that is it you guys. I really love how this turned out. It's so pretty and I set it up here on my mantle for fall. I am loving this one. Please let me know what you think of this DIY. For our third and final DIY for today, I'm going to use the pumpkins and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this blanket shawl that I got from Target Dollar Spot and also some white paint to use sort of like a primer and first I'm going to sand off all of the glitter that is on the pumpkins and then wipe it down really good and then I'm going to remove the raffia bowls and I will give them bowls each a coat of this white paint. And I'm only doing this because when I wrap them in this blanket shawl, I want to make sure when you see through it, it doesn't have, you know, two different colors. I want them to be the same. And so I paint them white so that way it look nice all together. And after I get them nicely painted, I did take some brown paper that I have here also on my table. And I just cut out to the size of the pumpkins and hot glue them down to the back. That way that is nice and clean as well. And then I just go, go ahead and with this blanket shawl and I cut a piece out of it and then I place the pumpkin down in the center of it and I just simply wrap the pumpkin in the material. And I want it to look sort of wrapped in, not completely flush or uh, stuck to the pumpkin. So I want it to look a little bit baggy and like wrapped in. So I'm going to create that just making it, um, just tying it up with my hands with some shrink. I tie it at the top where the stem is and I tie it off so the blanket or the material could stay nice and stuck together. And once I do that, I then take my scissors and I cut off all the excess around the stem so that way we don't have no excess material up on the top of the pumpkin. And here is how that looks friends and it's just how I envisioned it. I really love how it looks all nice and wrapped up 
and I just go ahead and add the same rapier bow that it had onto the top of the stem and I do this exact same thing for the second pumpkin wrapping it in the same material and using the same raffia bow and that is it for this DIY quick and easy and they look super cute and it gives it such a nice upgrade with this blanket shawl material and I really love how it turned out and I love the color of the blanket shawl as well I think it's perfect and so yeah I really love how this DIY turned out let me know what you think of this DIY and that was the last one for today friends please let me know which one was your favorite from today I love to hear your feedback and if you like today's video please give it a big thumbs up because that does help my channel grow and if you like my content and what you see here please do consider hitting that subscribe button I would love to have you to be a part of my little family and don't forget to check out Amber over at DIY with Amber that way you can check out what she's created with the items that I sent her and check out her channel overall. She is great. I will see you all on the next one. Bye guys.